fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. days of the western United States, the coming of the railroad brought prosperity to many districts, and the competition between the smaller towns for branch lines became intense. There were thousands of confidence men who took advantage of the wave of speculation that marked the era, and there were thousands of men and women who might have been cheated of their savings if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. As it was, it took the full force of his courage and resourcefulness to protect the ranchers from their own enthusiasm. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Pecos County! There's going to be trouble! Hello, Silver! Away! <laughs> In common with every other western community, Pecos wanted a railroad. But the newly organized Pecos and Western refused to build unless the county voted bonds to assist it. A grand rally had been called, and the inhabitants of both the town and the surrounding country listened to the arguments of J.C. Blodgett, the company's president and general manager. Friends, I can't urge you too strongly... Solely in the light of your own welfare, to vote the bonds that my company will need in order to construct the kind of railroad the future prosperity of Pecos demands. It will open up the country, draw manufacturers, and act as a magnet for trade. Let me remind you that if we do not build here, we shall build somewhere else. The prosperity that might have been yours will go to a rival community. And grass will grow in the streets of Pecos now so crowded with trade. And remember, friends, to ensure all these good things and to guard against such disaster as I have mentioned, you and your fellow citizens need only vote to the Pecos and Western... Bonds to the value of $200,000. How small a sum that is compared to what it will bring you. And how blind must be the man who will vote against it. And therefore, vote against the affluence both of himself and his neighbors. My friends, that is all. Well, I think that did it, Jake. <laughs> I reckon it did. Yeah, Two hundred thousand. It's a nice lot of money. Ain't it, though? And Jake. Yeah? 
We can be a long ways away when these fools wake up. (laughs) And, Mag, just think, when the railroad's built, all this land of yours is going to be worth five and ten times what it is now. Golly, I reckon you'll be one of the richest women between the Mississippi and the border. <laughs> Don't it please you? You want to know what I think? Huh? I think folks have gone clean daft over these thunderation railroads. But don't you think... I think what railroads are being built know just where they're going to run ahead of time. Regardless of what town votes and bonds and what town don't. Oh, Meg, you got that all wrong. Now take the Pecos and Western. It's already got its tracks laid clear to the head of the valley. It can go whichever way it pleases, either through Picos or through Titusville. And if we don't vote them bonds, them folks over Titusville will. If the railroad ain't going through Picos, why'd the tack on the name? Ah, uh, shucks, that could be changed easy enough. Then it'd be the Titusville in Western. Well, I still ain't satisfied. Mag, sometimes I think you I'm the what? Uh, nothing. Missouri, you old bag of bones. What was you going to call me? I didn't say You were thinking it. Is that a crime? Missouri, when you start thinking, it's always a crime. Now get out of here and leave me be. But in spite of the misgivings of many of the county's most level-headed citizens, when the time for the voting came, the bonds were approved by a ratio of ten to one and construction of the railroad was once more resumed. It was shortly afterward that the Lone Ranger returned to the district and, with his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, watched the work of the crews from a distance. Although well, I don't like the looks of this. What matter? I don't know just how to explain it. It doesn't seem as if the townspeople can lose. After all, they don't turn over the bonds they voted until the first train has run over those tracks. Oh. Blagett has given them voting stock in the company. Actually, the stock held in the name of the county amounts to control. Mm, that right. That's exactly what I can't understand. What do you think? I think Blagett was too anxious to put this deal across. Maybe you're right. What's more, from what I've seen of him, I don't like Blagett himself. Come, Tonto, let's ride. Now, where we go? There's someone I want to see. Who, that? He wouldn't know him, Kimasabi. If anyone can tell me what I wish to know about Blagett and the Pecos and Western, he's the man. Come on, Scott. Get him up, Scott. Come on, old fellow. Come on. One evening, a week later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto reined up before the ranch house of their old friend, Mustang Mag. Oh, oh, Scott. Oh, 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 You'd better stay with the horses, Kimasabi. Uh, me want them. I heard you. I heard you, friend. I told Missouri if that weren't the Lone Ranger, I'd never whack him again. Hello, Mag. Howdy, friend. Howdy. Hey, is that Tonto all there? It is, Missouri. My golly, I got to speak to him. Well, my lane's keeping you standing out here on the porch. You come on in. Mag, I want to talk with you. Trouble? Perhaps. Uh, I thought as much. I knew you wouldn't be making no social calls. Friend, what is it? Mag, don't misunderstand me. What I've discovered so far only gives grounds for suspicion. I have no kind of proof. <laughs> if everybody knew you as well as I know you, friend, they wouldn't ask for no more proof than just your suspicions. The most generally right. In this case, I hope they're not. Yeah? They concern Blagett and the Pecos and Western. Oh, uh-huh. so that's it. Yes. Well, it don't surprise me, none. I thought Blagger a crook from the first. Right from the first, I was again voting them bonds. <laughs> but when the whole world goes loco, the few with sense gets locked up. Meg, what would happen if in the end the county lost the 200000 it's investing in this railroad and received nothing in return? What would happen? It'd just about ruin these parts, that's all. That man? Well, I should smile. How did it like that ever be paid without raising taxes sky high? The way it is, everybody's figuring the railroad's going to make them so all fired prosperous, a few more taxes won't amount to nothing. But if the railroad failed to bring prosperity? It'd set the county back ten whole years. And keep new citizens from moving in. Just so. But, um, 
Uh, what started you on know, all this, huh? To tell the truth, Mag, I first became suspicious when I learned that Blagid was handing over the voting stock to the county that amounted to control. Mm. Then I looked at that part of the line which had already been built and saw that it was cheap, narrow-gauge construction. <laughs> Blagid claimed that was just for now. It had all been changed in a couple of years. I know. Well, after that, I called on a friend of mine, a banker with good connections. Yeah? He couldn't uncover anything definitely against Blagid, but he did learn this isn't the first short-line railroad the man's promoted. None of which he stayed by, huh? Exactly. So? This could be a fraud, a trick to get the county's money and give little in return. Wouldn't be the first scheme of the sort by any means. Huh, I should smile, it wouldn't. I had several reasons for mentioning the matter to you. Uh-huh. In the first place, I want you to keep your ears open for anything that may serve to prove my suspicions. <laughs> They'll be open that wide the flap. If my suspicions are correct, I have a plan to bring the facts out in the open. That plan may need your help. Which you ought to know by this time. You're welcome to whenever it's needed. Well, thank you, Mag. You've never failed me. You've never failed anybody. And in the meantime, yeah? it wouldn't hurt to start a little talk. The bonds have been voted. And most of the original enthusiasm has died down. Perhaps your neighbors are ready to begin thinking more carefully. Um, uh, you mean... It uh... wouldn't be a bad idea if rumors were circulated that Blagett would bear watching. <laughs> I savvy. If Blagett's honest, they'll do him no harm. But if he ain't... They'll fit into something I have in mind. Friend? Yes, Mag? If you want someone who can talk, you come to just the right party. Fine. And if you don't believe it, ask Missouri. During the days that followed, the railroad crept gradually closer to Pecos. Blagett made his headquarters in a private car and followed the construction crews. One afternoon, as he was riding at his desk, Jake entered the car and... Who is it? Oh, it's you, Jake. Where have you been? I've been to Pecos, Blagett. <laughs> have you? Walk? I borrowed a horse from the foreman. And you needn't sit there grinning, neither. What I heard in town ain't funny. Just what do you mean? There's some funny stories about you going around... You've been talking to anybody you shouldn't. About what? Well, well, about what we were planning to do after we collect them bonds. I don't think I have. Well, you don't think I you... mean I've discussed it with no one but you. I hope you ought to be trusted, Jake. Trusted? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, if you're sure you ain't talked to nobody else... I said that. Oh, no offense, man. It just seemed funny. Exactly what did you hear? Well, nothing, really. I mean, nothing you could pin down. Just talking in the cafe about why you need 200000 in bonds when the line you're building ain't worth half that. You know. <laughs> it just goes to show how little they understand about the construction of a railroad. Uh -huh. When they said this line isn't costing half that, they were wrong. Oh, sure. It isn't costing one-fourth that. Honest, Blanchett? You getting by that cheap? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm speaking of what it would cost to duplicate the materials and labor. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's costing me almost nothing. <laughs> I've persuaded the men to work for half until the bonds are delivered and discounted for cash. Most of the materials I've obtained on credit. <laughs> of course, they haven't been charged against me. They've been charged against the Pecos and Western. <laughs> I get it. That's why I made no difficulty over granting the county so much stock. Let me get my hands on that cash, and they're welcome to the line. Debts and all. Don't you mean when we get our hands on that cash, Blagett? Huh? Oh, of course. You wouldn't want to make any mistake about that, you know. Don't talk like a fool. Well, it never hurts to remind us. Forget it. You forget anything you hurt in Pecos also. Ain't it likely to cause trouble? How? Well, just... The uh... contract's clear. On the day the first passenger train runs into Pecos, the bonds are given to me. <laughs> Actually, that fulfills my part of the bargain. There's nothing in that contract which states I must run a second train. I could take that money, do nothing more, and retain it quite legally. Although as a matter of policy... Uh -huh. As a matter of policy, Jake, I think it'll be safer if we don't stay. <laughs> our uh, friends might not appreciate our rights. They, uh, well, they might act a trifle too hastily, in which case yeah. we might find ourselves at the business end of... Uh, pair of sturdy ropes. <laughs> well, Jake, what are you looking so pale about? Did I frighten you? Mm. What'd you say? Weren't you listening? Uh, I guess I wasn't. Then what's bothering you? What, what 
couldn't be. Talk sense. For just a minute there, I, I thought I'd seen a Lone Ranger. But I know it couldn't be. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. Racing away from the railroad, the Lone Ranger rejoined Tonto at their secret camp near Mustang Mag's ranch. Oh, oh, that's over. Oh, 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 oh. What you find out? Yep. Uh, not much today, Kimasabi. Not taken by itself. But added to the other things we've learned, quite a lot. Oh, not good. I might have learned more, but I had to keep out of sight of the crew. Uh. At any rate, we know for certain that Blagett and Jake plan to use the money they obtained from those bonds for themselves and no one else. Mm, that's right. Seems as if knowing that much, it should be easy to prove. It isn't, however. Blagett's in a good position. As president of the Pecos and Western, he has the full authority to convert those bonds into cash. Uh. Once that's done, he leave this part of the country. But if he does, even then we can do nothing. How would we prove such a trip wasn't on legitimate business? He's not obligated to remain right here. Um, what we do then? We'll have to use the plan I outlined first and hope that it'll work. Uh, it's a good plan. Well, if it fails, we can always try another. Uh. We'll wait several days. Oh, why wait? It's still a week before the line will be completed. Uh-huh. On the day that the first train enters Pecos, there's going to be a big celebration. <laughs> Me here talk, yeah. If we work it right, <laughs> that celebration will fit into our plan. Um, me savvy. But if we act too soon, we might spoil everything. Just a little patience, Kimosabe, and I know we'll win. Last, however, the tracks reached the very edge of town. On the following day, the branch would be completed, and at Mustang Mag's ranch house, old Missouri was looking forward to the coming celebration with an enthusiasm that aroused Mag's suspicions. Missouri, you quit looking at yourself in the mirror and listen to me. Uh, just a second, Mag. What are you doing now? Uh, I can't just make up my mind. Huh? Would you say a real bright necktie would go with my complexion, Mag? Or would I look better than something kind of sea date? Heavenly days. Are you going to wear a necktie? Well, why not? You are up to something. You know, Missouri, I think maybe tomorrow you better stay to home. You're going to get in trouble. When a fellow your age gets young notions, he ain't fit to be trusted alone. Oh, now, Mag. Uh-huh. I reckon for the good of all concerned, you better forget the celebration and do some work for a change. No. Let me see now. How long's it been since anybody's rode over by that east fence? Mag. You're going to make me ride fence on a day like tomorrow? Just for your own good, Missouri. You can't do it. I, By golly, I quit. How much you got coming? Huh? Tell me what I owe you and I'll pay you now. Mag, you you mean you'd really let me quit? Sure. Why not? Then then I won't. <laughs> I thought you wouldn't. Dog blasted, Mag. Sometimes you get me so doggone mad. Well, if that's the case, then you'd better... Hello, come in. The mask man. Mag, is Missouri going to the celebration tomorrow? Well, um, well, I ain't just sure. I am too going. Friend, what did you ask for? If you went, Missouri, do you think you could follow instructions? Huh? Say, is it something to do with what we talked about when you first showed up? Yes. Of course I can follow instructions. You got something you want me to do? Just one thing, and it shouldn't be hard. What? Tomorrow, a large crowd will be waiting to greet Blagett. Uh-huh. They expect him to arrive in town in his private car. Won't he? No. Then how... Oh, Missouri, will you keep stealing at the mask, fella? Explain yourself. Oh, I wasn't bothering him. No, he won't enter town in his private car, Missouri. 
In fact, he won't be coming into town at all. Huh? He'll be waiting just outside, at the old Hanson place. Well, that's the one that ain't lived in anymore. Right. Well, what in Chunker will he be doing there? You'll learn that when the time comes, Mag. Just now, I want Missouri's promise that he'll remember that, that he'll bring the town's people there, and that he won't fail. When did I ever? Just plenty of times. You'll do it, Missouri? I don't savvy, but I sure will. And I'll see you then. Adios. All right, Tonto, let's go. We've work to do. Oh. Get him up, Stone. Come on, Silver. Come on. Two hours later, Jake was walking past a dense grove of trees on his way from town when suddenly... Stand where you are. What the... Come on, Silver, get him up, Scout. The masked man. Into the saddle with you. Here they go. Help, help. Keep still. One more shot out of you and I'll use these guns. I ain't got no cash on me. There's no use holding me up. I... This isn't a hold-up. Then what do you want? You can't guess. I don't know what you're talking... You think Blanchett intends to collect those bonds tomorrow, then share with you? you? You know about that? Why shouldn't I? You said... Hey, Blagett hire you? That's a question I'm not answering. He did. He did. I do his dirty work for him, and now he wants to get rid of me. He wants to keep the whole thing for himself. Did you expect anything different? I'll fix him. Just let me get my hands on him. You'll do nothing. The dirty little... I'll promise you one thing. What's that? You'll get not one penny of that 200000 from Blagett. I'll see to that. Come on, Silver. I'm out. Hurry, boy. Hurry. <laughs> The masked man led the way to the deserted Hanson place and left his prisoner with Tonto in the empty bunkhouse. Then he leaped to the saddle once more and circled the town. This time, his destination was the same as Jake's had been before his capture. Blodgett's private car. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh. Stay there, old fellow. That's you, Jake. What the? That's a gun you're reaching for, Blodgett. Drop it. I think right now, Jake wouldn't care if I shot you or not. What was that you said? Don't argue. Just come along. No, no, let me go. What are you doing with me? Where are you taking me? Wait and find out. And down those steps. I said that quickly. Now into the saddle. Help with you. Now wait. Wait, can't we talk this over? If you're after cash. Yeah, if it's cash, you're worried about Blanchett. I can get what I want without coming to you, huh? With you out of the way, Jake will be a wealthy man. You mentioned him before. Right. I demand to know why. Isn't it true, with you out of the way, Jake could collect those bonds in your place tomorrow as your representative? Oh, yes, but... And couldn't he dispose of them without your help? Aren't they readily negotiable? I don't see what good If that... you don't, Blanchard, you're more blind than I think you are. Come on, old fellow. Come on. The last man returned to the deserted ranch, but avoided the bunkhouse and took his second prisoner to the ranch house itself. There, Blagett was securely bound by Tonto, just as Jake had been earlier. And all that night until almost noon the next day, both men were well guarded. Neither was aware of the other's captivity, and at twelve o'clock, Tonto rode away alone. An hour passed, then... Stranger. Well, Blagett, you better listen to me. Yes? Jake hired you to kidnap me, didn't he? I refuse to answer that. No, he's denying it. You've already let enough slip for me to guess the truth. And if I have... He double-crossed me. Maybe. And if you have any sense, you'll realize that if he double-crossed me, he'd do the same to you. I don't think he will. I tell you, you don't know the man. Oh? Let me out of here. Help me get back at him and I'll pay you anything you ask. Why should I trust you any more than you say I should trust him? Well, you know And that. if he has hired me, which I haven't admitted... He'll gain just as much money by having you out of the way as you would if he were out of the way. In other words, you'd be in no position to pay me anything more than he could. But I could be trusted. I doubt that. Stranger, listen. Quiet. I tell you... Quiet, I said. Someone just rode up. It's Tonto. Just brought him back so early. No trouble. What's the matter? No, he... Big trouble. What is it, Tonto? Something's gone wrong? Uh, Jake, him in cafe. Yes? Him drink plenty fire water. Go on. Him talk plenty. Him make heap big talk. 
him tell everything. You sure of that? Uh. About the bonds, what he and Blagett had planned? Uh. Him not know what him say. Fellers in town, them plenty mad. What's that the Indian said? If what he said is true, Blagett, it looks as though the game's up for everyone. There come fellers. The crowd from town. Fellow, they must have picked up your trail. They're heading here. Uh. What if Jake's talked? Well, they'll lynch me if they find me. Right. Get me away. Get me out of here. You'll have to take care of yourself. They're coming too fast. Oh, don't go. Don't leave me. Wait. Untie me anyhow. Give me a chance. Please give me a chance. Your knife, Tonto. Uh, here, here, knife. I can't let any man be lynched without a fair chance, Blanchett. I'm giving you yours. There. there you're free. Which way will I go? I have a horse. Blanchett, take some advice. What's that? There they are. You can't escape. So far, they've heard just Jake's story from what Thomas told us. You have just one chance. Huh? Get out of there and tell them your side of it. Explain it the best way you know how. I wouldn't dare. What else can you do? Well, I... Get I... on with you, quick. Well, I'll have to. Don't let me. I'll talk. I'll tell everything. Don't believe what Jake told you. Let me talk. You're all right, Tato. Uh, get to the bunkhouse and release Jake. <laughs> enough to hear what Blanchett's got to say. He's yelling something. What was that you said, Blanchett? The whole thing was Jake's idea from first to last. Don't lynch me, Ben. Please don't lynch me. What's the matter with Just him? give me a chance to talk. It was Jake saw where we could get that 200000 I don't care what he told you. It was his idea to steal it. I, I heard you. Putting the whole blame on me. Well, you ain't going to get away with it. You fellas know I just work for this skunk, don't you? It was him thought of this way of stealing your money. Hey, what's the matter with that? Well, I'll be doggone. Jake, you say Blagett was going to steal the county's cash? He was going to cash them bonds and skip out. I wasn't any worse than you. You were going to do the same thing. I... Hey, Jake, that Indian said you'd been in town drinking. Huh? Me? I've been in that bunkhouse tied up all night. What's that? Look where the ropes was on me. Trick. What? Run for it. Come hey, on. Hey, grab them, Jen. No, 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 no. You fellas are under arrest, fellas. <laughs> Don't that beat all? We come here to thank these gents for building the railroad, and they just stop and confess they're crooked. I'll steal my <laughs> And there goes the hombres that planned the whole thing. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 